somewhere in there we have a, a muzzle loader season. So we can't try to do that. But hopefully we get something on the ground this weekend and uh, put some meat in the freezer. So uh, we're heading on down here now. So here we go. So we're taking a pit stop in Walmart. Getting us some different things. Can get him a no jacket. Give me some. Give me some foot warmers and stuff. Cause it's gonna be uh, like 24 degrees in the morning. So but yeah, it's gonna be like 24 degrees in the morning. So I don't know why we're in this section, but uh, you know, you know what it is. You gotta you gotta go to the fishing it's section when you're in Walmart. We happen to be here. We accidentally walked in this aisle. It's not our fault, but. We're gonna get ready to get out of here and get going. Alright, we're uh we're pulling up to the cabin now. Josh was gonna get out and go uh get the gate open, but here we are. Oh no, the Mountain Dews. No, almost, can't be losing the Mountain Dews. They almost fell out, but no, I saved them. We're, we're good. good. All right, we got everything up in here. I already carried all our stuff up in the cabin, but we'll kind of show our place off here. It's pretty cool. Really cool vibe going on in here. But uh, yeah, we're set up. We got a full kitchen, bathroom, all that stuff. Got all our stuff we just picked up at Walmart there, so we're gonna go get changed and uh, go ahead and get up in the stand. So here we go. In visibility. Can all lay up. Use up that and drop the. All right, we're hoping to use that thing tonight. Yeah, Let's go nice. get in the stand, man. Let's go get it. So we decided to go ahead and pull on out tonight and uh, going back to the cabin. Um, if 
if we shoot anything this late, it's usually, you know, it'll be track in the dark. And usually we got a whole mess of people down here with us to help us out. But it's just me and Joshua down here this weekend. So making a decision to pull on out. We're going to go grab us something to eat and get a good night's sleep and get at it in the morning. So hopefully we'll have some good luck in the morning. grab some foods at uh at this place called little dave's restaurant and pizza so uh i guess we'll see what all that's about and uh yeah all right well we're gonna go try this little hole in the wall place little dave's we uh gosh we've been going to this cabin for a little over 10 years and i've never even never even heard of this place so Apparently they got pizza, burgers, chicken. Can't go wrong there, so we gonna give her a try. Last part of our last part of our meal. We ordered a lot of food. We ordered a lot. A lot of food. But it looks real good. Alright, well. Little Dave's. Ten out of ten. Eleven out of ten. Yeah. My gosh, dude. This place is amazing. Best pizza I've had in a while. The burger was amazing. It was the bun was so incredibly soft, yet it was also crispy. Yeah. Either way, it, best food I've had as far as a sit-down place in a while, and I mean that it was good. So, if y'all are in the Hardensburg area or around Rough River, Kentucky, check this place out. It is good. It's me against the mountain, most days the mountain wind. But I'll meet you tonight, my love, or I'll meet my end. Either way, an angel's waiting when I fight this fight. Keep on waiting, baby. It's me against the mountain tonight. We're back from eating um we just got everything taken care of here at the cabin got everything put up got the gate locked back up um so we're kind of just chilling out watching real tree monster bucks right now and uh yeah so we're gonna get a little bit of shut eye and uh get back at it in the morning um i think it's gonna be pretty cold in the morning it's supposed to be like low 30s so hopefully the deer movement will be um really good so Hopefully we can get the job done in the morning, but uh, anyways, we're going to get some shut eyes, so we'll see y'all then. Morning. <laughs> Got the Breakfast of Champions right here. So... <sighs> We're trying to get up and going. Neither one of us are morning people at all. So, but we got about close to an hour before it gets light. So, we're trying to try to get everything together and 
get in the stand here in a little bit and be ready to put something on the ground. So here we go. Good shot. Think you're a good shot. I feel pretty confident that that dead center of the shoulder. Yes, My sir. ain't called no more. <laughs> there we go. All right, we've given him about 45 minutes to an hour. We're gonna go see if we can find some blood and track her down. All right, that's where we shot her. So now we just need to start falling blood. There's no. There we go. Now we're on the blood trail. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. There's some right here. Right here, spider. She ran all the way through here. Look at all the butter here. There she is right there. Uh, 
Heck yeah, man. Trying to about where I wanted to Yes, sir. Alright, well. What do you think? It's your first deer. Yeah, pretty fun experience. It didn't make it, but what? Maybe 20 yards out of the deal? If that. Maybe. I mean, it's. Yeah, I mean, it's. Probably. It's probably. No, it's probably only about 25 yards from where you shot it. Yeah, it didn't get far. So. Got a heck of a hole in it. Yeah. That's the, uh, this is his, this is your first deer. And uh, it's the same gun I killed my first deer with. So, it's awesome. Well, let's go get the bad boy and we'll bring it back to the cabin. Welcome back over here to the bad boy buggy and drive it over there. We'll get it thrown up on there and go get her quartered up and uh, be ready to start packing stuff to go home. But it's awesome. He's uh, He's been wanting to kill a deer for quite a while. And uh, Austin and Daniel came down here last weekend. They saw several deer, but couldn't get a shot on one. So, but we got the job done, so. We, uh, we're gonna go get it taken care of and head on home. So, here we go. All right, we got it loaded up. Go over here to the stand and pick our other stuff up. And be ready to, ready to go back to the cabin. Got everything uh, put away, got the cabin cleaned back up, um, got the deer taken care of, and the rest of the carcass and everything hauled off. Um, we didn't even think about video and all that stuff. We had a bunch of blood and stuff on our hands and all that, so didn't even think about doing it. But, um, but yeah, we got all that taken care of. Got the Tahoe loaded down, and uh, we're gonna head on back home. So, um, but yeah, got his first deer, got everything on film, so. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.